all right good morning guys good friday morning after thanksgiving i hope everyone had a uh, amazing thanksgiving with their families and ate a lot of a lot of food i know i did um this is going to be our project this morning this is where i tore the 150 year old barns down you know one over there and then one over there um, i had to do I had to do the the uh, culvert job for the road dis county road district, uh, so I had to pull out of here. And so anyway, I'm back here. We're gonna just gonna uh, this old block building and stuff. We're just gonna lay it down. Um, the guys have come in. This roof used to go over and attach into the roof that was on this building, so they went in here and cut that. And you see they temporarily brace that uh, they ripped the other roof off and that way I can get this thing pulled away and then they're gonna go in and redo all of this but his uh, working pans and all of his uh, his shoot and all that's in here so he wants to kind of keep that under roof for now I think he's gonna put a uh, he's gonna come off of here or if they decide to redo this he's going to uh, uh, build a new roof over this and one over here as well. We're gonna try to try to keep the slab that's underneath this uh, The chances of that happening Is gonna be pretty slim because this stuff's gonna want to fall down and bust that floor up and if that that floor is probably just gonna be two or three inches thick uh, like they used to do so uh, He may just have to end up by pouring another floor but uh, But anyway, well, that's something you don't see anymore when's the last time you've seen one of those that's what i grew up with but anyway but again we're gonna tear this old girl down pile it uh whoa. This used to be a milk barn and so this feed bunk they want out of here too hopefully it's sitting on top uh, I don't know I told him I wasn't gonna I wasn't gonna go through here and tear the bucket or the thumb up on that machine trying to get it out of here so if it's in here too much they may just have to end up by getting a hammer in here and busting it I don't know but uh, we're just going to get her laid down and piled. And there's a handful of stumps over here. We're going to pull out old cedar stumps next to the highway. We we called in locate and had everything marked. There's nothing there. So we're going to get those yanked out. But uh, they went ahead and pulled that away. There was, an, there was a walkway through here, as you can see by the outline. They went ahead and pulled that completely off there. I was just going to have them cut it. But that'll work hopefully that conduit's is setting up there I hope I want to yank that out of the barn this barn here is another one of those old round roof barns he's got to go ahead and save this they're going to re-roof it they're going to uh, redo the siding and stuff in it around it they're going to keep this one I, it's in good shape another old hand hewn beams and rough cut oak tube of 10 and tube of 12s but he's going to keep this one it's you know in a lot better shape so but anyway we're just going to get this thing down and kind of get it piled gonna have to get some trucks in here as soon as i can to get this to get this hauled out of here to this and the other pirate piles as well so Anyway, let's fire up the old excavator. Uh, it was 17 degrees when I stepped out of the house this morning. It's warmed up slightly, but uh, we'll fire her up and and uh, let her warm up and get started.
yank it down real quick and kind of get it filed up a little bit. Um, the minute I cruise here, to, that's their telehandler. I, don't, I think they're gonna, I don't know if they're gonna start on the barn or if they're gonna start on this over here once I get this down. So I've got to give them a little bit of room, but I also don't want to set it out here in their way where they can't get through here either. So ultimately, I think I'm gonna try to pile it about where I'm setting if it's possible. Um, anyway, that's the plan. Um, I've talked about it before, but with my thumb, I've got to be careful. I don't want to overstress it. Right where the sides of the thumb, uh, there should have been, most of the other thumb brands I've seen have gussets that come from the center section down to the outside arms. Uh, that keeps those arms right there at that point. It keeps them wanting to spread out, which might have done. So as soon as I get an opportunity, I'm going to take and push these arms back in and get them back in and then I'm going to take and weld gussets on the insides all the way out from almost where the pin goes in down at an angle to support that side and I think I'll be good. I was going to try to do something on the outside but I don't think that's um, I could lay some three quarter inch on the end and weld it in there would probably do it but I'm going to try to gusset that up. Why Strickland? I mean, the thumb's heavy built everywhere else, uh, but there, and it's even cracking, the, it's even cracked the welds right there where it's stressed it enough, so I have to be really careful, especially on concrete stuff, so, uh, so anyway, I'm going to try to get this tore down without having to, to, uh, tweak my thumb too much more, and also, got a new set of teeth to go on and I don't want to put them on until I get through with all this gnarly stuff. I don't want to put a new set of teeth on and, and go into a mess with concrete. So I get all this tore down and get all this loaded up. Then I'll probably go ahead and put my other teeth on. I've got to get this thing greased too. Actually, it's ended on greasing it today, but probably not much sense in it. As old as it is, the grease that I use, I mean, it's just like, let's see, it's just like trying to push molasses through when it's just cold. So, get more obstacles to contend with. that would happen with these blocks that's why I got to be careful on these sidewalls I don't want that sidewall to fall into that bar so I got to be a little bit careful there
kind of a goal of mine to get to and I'm surpassed it and I just want to thank you guys for that and all the support that you guys give me. Uh, you know, not much in the, in the world of YouTube by any means. I mean, it's just minuscule, but that is the goal that I had and I just want to thank everyone for that. Um, I think I checked this morning. I'm currently at 4,035 or 40 now. Again, that's uh, that's awesome. My my uh, tearing down that pond, that far pond, so that's got quite a few views. And uh, and so I appreciate that as well. I'm just kind of babying things right now, taking it easy. Push these machines when it's this kind of weather. I don't like to push them that hard until they get warmed up real good. So I'm just kind of nonchalantly, very gently, just kind of trying to pull things around here until she gets warmed up and then.
all righty guys well uh a little short video today not much um we did get all that uh tore out of there didn't bust the floor up which was good that feed bunk is down in there they either poured around it or they stubbed up rebar because i broke off all i could break off and it was just i'm not gonna split a bucket out or tear up something and try to get that out of there best thing as i mentioned in the video is just to take uh get a electric jackhammer in there and that'll bust right out of there because it doesn't have any doesn't have any rebar or any any metal or anything in it but uh could i get it out of there yeah i could get it out of there but i'm gonna tear the floor all up and i'm gonna uh potentially tear the machine up and i'm not gonna do either one of those so it won't take that long to bust that out of there with a with a jackhammer uh most rental places have those little electric jackhammers and that bust that right out of there so Anyway, also, as you've seen in the video, I went down through here and uh, pulled all those cedar stumps out of there. Put it back the best I could, but the ground's really wet, so anyway. Well, I'm going to go look at some gravel got to clean a creek out take some gravel and uh, pile it and then start moving some of it to um, oh, some low spots in the in some gate entrances and stuff like that nothing too exciting there's either uh, so gonna go meet with the guy on that and see what we can get lined up on that so anyway guys i'm gonna get on out of here don't forget to like and subscribe leave comments ring that notification bell and that way you know when i post a new video also been posting a lot on instagram uh so follow me there and that's at dirt daddy 953 and also guys again as i mentioned in the in the first part of the video uh i'm over 4,000 subscribers now and man, I appreciate that. That that's exceeds what I thought I would get. Um, again, very minuscule in the world of YouTube. I get that, and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to inflate my ego by any means. But uh, I'm just pleasantly surprised, I guess I should say. So, anyway, guys, I appreciate you all, and I uh, appreciate all of the uh, all of the support that you all give me. And a lot of you have been with me since pretty well day one. So uh, that's awesome. Awesome as well. So I hope to, before long, uh, have a collaboration video with uh, Brandon. We've been talking about this for some time. And I've got, I think I've got four ponds. i got four new ponds to build. And I've got one, an acre and a half pond to rehab. Uh, to go in and fix so anyway those are those are uh up and coming don't forget to hang in there and we'll eventually get to those um some other things are in the work as well as far as as far as work so i've got some bids i've got to put in on some projects one of them's pretty substantial so anyway that's what we got to look forward to there but uh, anyway guys i'm gonna get on out of here again i appreciate you all and y'all have a good day